Coach, uh, just go ahead and talk about your schedule, your thoughts on, on what you see when you look down the list. And got a, it looks like a tough series with Cal State Fullerton on the road, but I'm sure you'd say that the majority of them are going to be difficult any way you look at it. We're really excited about the whole 56 game schedule. Uh, obviously, Big 12 plays a big challenge. Uh, I feel like it's one of the better leagues in the country, if not the best league in the country. And uh, obviously, those eight weeks are quite a bit of a grind for, for any team. And uh, I think we've got five weeks before that to get ready for Big 12 play and, and uh, have some good challenges for our team. What do you think those marquee matchups in the non conference have done for your team's confidence early in the season? You know, obviously, you guys had Indiana and Arizona, Arizona State the last couple of years. Has that been kind of a set the bar type of series where you know you know you have to go through teams like that to, to get ultimately to where you want to be i think really i think we're trying to play the best we can uh every day we try to go out and play the best we can and we we ultimately want to put people in the seats because of the way we're playing not because who's coming to lubbock to play and uh we have played some teams that uh have had good years the year before or however you say it but Really, any college baseball game, the guy, the guy on the mound, pretty much dictates what goes on and and uh, how a game can play out. And uh, every game's you better bring your best every day. Looking right. forward to this season, how much of an impact do you think Patrick Mahomes will have on your pitching rotation? Well, let's see. That I mean, I think time will tell on that as far as that goes. And uh, has the ability to make a big impact. Uh, we've got 12 or 15 guys on our club right now have the ability to make a big impact and really you never know who's going to make that impact until you get to that point in the spring. Is there any non-conference matchup that you think the guys are really excited to go play at, let's say the Cal State Fullerton or San Diego State? Well, we really just gave it to them yesterday. I know uh, Timmy was really excited about going to the West Coast, you know, being from over that way, uh, even though it's a little south of him. and. Uh, I'm sure all of them are excited about everywhere we go, much less going out that way. And uh, our guys try to embrace playing wherever we play, whenever we play, uh, whether it's at home, whether it's on the road or neutral site. And uh, ideally, what you're trying to do is get get your club to play with their best effort every time they come out. I mean, you're not always going to get the results you want, but in this game, you you do definitely have to bring your best every day, and every every day is important. Is there a stretch of the schedule outside the 12 play that you say this is really going to test my team and I'm looking forward to seeing my guys react to this stretch? I don't know that we really look at the stretches as far as that goes. I mean, we, we try to uh, separate each day for what it is and uh, keep it as a baseball game for that day and, and then move on to the next day. Uh, I guess you could look at the schedule and you could find some stretches in there that could be really tough if you wanted to try to play all the games at once. but. Fortunately, you only can play one game at a time, and that's how we try to deal with it. You expect teams to prepare for you differently now that you're no longer the new kid on the block, and you've got the first in school history, and now your name that people oh, recognize. I, going to I think so. I mean, I think our club understands we're going to get everybody's best shot. Uh, at the same time, I think uh, out of respect for our league and Big 12 play, we get everybody's best shot. We've been getting everybody's best shot. I mean, you. You have to bring it every day in our league. and But outside of league play, we're definitely going to be a uh, marked team for some teams. And, and that's the way you want it. I mean, you want to you want it to be a big day for everybody when you play them. Coach, with that success that you guys had last year, do you sense the community is, is really excited about uh, getting this thing started for you guys coming up this season? Really have. I, mean, I think Scott gave us some information that uh, I think 500 more season tickets have already been sold than ever before. I think we've got 200 more seats left that are reserved in our ballpark. And just going around town and you know running into people at you know my son's basketball game or around my daughter or eating dinner or something like that. I mean, I ran into quite a few people that have come up and said, "Hey, first time I ever bought season tickets." Really excited about the spring, and, and we are also.